Hi everyone! So today we're going to discuss on how to write a perfect square trinomial to a square of a binomial. Let us have an example. Let's say we have x squared plus 2x plus 1. Okay, so first step is we're going to check if the given trinomial is a perfect square trinomial. How? So let us get the square root of the first term. So that is x square root of the last term or third term, which is 1, because the square root of 1 is 1. Then if we're going to multiply this by 2, and then if the result is 2x, then it is a perfect square trinomial. Let's see, we have 2 times x times 1, so that is 2x. Therefore, we can now rewrite this as a square of a binomial. How? So, we're going to get the square root of the first term, which is x. Then, the middle term, the sign of the middle term is positive. So, plus. Then, you're going to get the square root of the last term, or the third term, which is 1. Then, in closing a parenthesis, put an exponent 2. So, that's it. So, we have here now a square of a binomial okay so this is a perfect square trinomial then this is a square of a binomial okay next number two let's say we have d squared plus 6d plus 9 okay so let's see let us get the square root of the first term we have d square root of d squared is d Square root of the third term, which is 9, is 3. And then if we're going to multiply this by 2, so the result is 60. Let's see if this is correct. We have t times 3, we have 3d. Times 2, we have 60. So this is a perfect square trinomial. And therefore, we can now write this as a square of a binomial. So the square of the binomial of this trinomial is d plus 3 squared or the square of d plus 3 next number 3 let's say we have x raised to 4 plus 4x squared plus 4 now let us check if it is a perfect square trinomial by getting the square root of the first and then the third terms so we have the square root of x raised to 4 we're going to write that into exponential form that is x raised to 4 the exponent now will be the numerator of the exponent then over the index 2 so that is x raised to 4 divided by 2 so we have 2 so the, x, the square root of x raised to 4 is x squared then the square root of 4 we have 2 if we're going to multiply this by 2 what is the result? So we have x squared times 2, we have 2x squared. Then times 2, we have 4x squared. Then, we're going to write that into a square of a binomial. That is, this one, we have x squared. The sign of the middle term is positive, so plus 2. Then, square it. Okay, next, number 4, let's say we have... 9m squared minus 6m plus 1. Okay, square root of 9m squared, we have 3m. Square root of 1, we have 1. Let's see if it is a perfect square trinomial. So we have 3m times 1, we have 3m times 2, so we have 6m. Okay, so we're going to write this as a square of a binomial. So we have 3m, this one, then minus 1. So minus 1 squared. So this is the answer. Another example, number 5. Let's say we have 4x squared minus 20x plus 25. So square root of 4x squared, we have 2x. Then... Square root of 25, we have 5. If we're going to multiply it by 2, 
So, we have 2x times x. We have 10x times 2. We have 20x. Okay, therefore, if you're going to write this as a square of a binomial, so this is equal to 2x minus 5 squared. Okay. Next, number 6. Let's say we have 4 minus 36x plus 81x squared. Okay. So, this is very easy. Just get the square root of the first term, which is 4. So, the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 81x squared is 9x. Then, Let's see if it is a perfect square trinomial. Let us multiply 9 times 9x times 2. We have 18x times 2. We have 36x. So the corresponding square of a binomial is 2 minus 9x squared. So let's say number 7. We have 25 a squared b squared minus 30 a b c then plus 9 c squared so let's see if it is a perfect square trinomial square of 25 a squared b squared we have 5 a b then square root of 9 c squared we have 3 c let us multiply this by 2 so we have 5 5ab times 3c that is 15abc if you're going to multiply it by 2 we have 30abc check so since that it is a perfect square trinomial so we can now write this as a square of a binomial so we have 5ab minus we get it from the sign of the middle term then we have minus 3c squared. Okay, next number number 8. Number 8, let's say we have fractions. Let's say we have x squared plus 2 over 3x plus 1 over 9. So, let us see if it is a perfect square trinomial. Square root of x squared, that is x. Square root of 1 over 9, so square root of the numerator first. Square root of 1, 1. Square root of 9, we have 3. Then let us multiply it by 2. So we have x times 1 third when we have 1 third x times 2. So we have 2 over 3x. So this is equal to x plus 1 over 3 squared. Okay, last number. Let's say we have x squared minus 5x plus 25 over 4. Now, get the square root of the first term. So, x square root of x squared. So, we have x square root of the last term or the third term, 25 over 4. So, square root of 25, we have 5. Square root of 4, we have 2. Then, if you're going to multiply this 2, so we have 5 over 2x. Now, Again, we're going to multiply these two terms by 2. So, times 2. So, there are two ways of solving this. You can multiply the numerators. And then, we all know that the denominator of this 2 is 1. So, multiplying the numerators, we have 2 times 5, 10. Then, 1 times 2, we have 2. Then, we have x variable. So, that is 10 over 2. We have 5x. Or another solution is that you will just cancel out 2. The common factor which is 2. So the answer is only 5. 5x. Then, we can write this as a square of a binomial. So we have 
x minus 5 over 2 squared. So this is now the answer. And thank you for watching the video until the end. So just subscribe for more videos. Thank you.